You have a choice of how you see the world. You have a choice of what you take in and what you put out. And at the end of the day, if you don't make that choice, then what ends up happening is negativity fills that space. Negative thoughts, negative mindset, negative energy. The energy you put out into the world becomes negative. So many of the things that you fight against actually come and take over your entire being. This is what happens when an individual doesn't focus on the right energy that they work on in their life, positive energy. Positive energy is what we wanna see. How we wanna see it is extremely important. Let me tell you a story. I have a great client and friend who at this point in time in their life, it's been a struggle. And the struggle is natural. A lot of friends are like this. They own restaurants. And restaurants that have been in high traffic areas are not getting the high traffic that they once had. And during the pandemic, it was really, really bad. Businesses were down 60 to 80%. They've never seen any loss of revenue in their entire careers. And they are one of the most successful people that I knew. At the end of the day, they saw this negative energy building in and around. And it was actually taking over them. We had several conversations where there were, there were challenges and even breakdowns. And then all of a sudden something happened. I started to get more calls from this person. I started to get calls weekly. And at the time we might've been talking once a month, but weekly those calls revolved around positive energy. In fact, at one point in time, this person said to me, I'm calling you because you're one of the few people in my life that when I talk to you, I get filled up with positive energy. It's not all negative. And you know what? You're also not trying to solve all my problems as well. This is another challenge, is because everybody that the people were talking to wanted to save them or change them or solve it, and there was just some things they had to solve for themselves. But this positive energy, what was this person doing? This person was making a choice of action. See, worry is praying for what we don't want. Dr. Kevin Elko has said this a thousand times. I, I've, Im, I've just embedded this into my brain. Worry is praying for what we don't want because worry and praying for what we don't want is negative. It's focusing on all the things that could go wrong, all the things that are wrong, all the things that aren't going the way we see them in the world. And so when you're wringing your hands and you're like, I have this to do and I'm overwhelmed and I can't function and I don't know how I'm going to get there. I don't know what, what we're going to do or how we're going to get out of this or what we're, what we're going to do with the kids or how this is going to work. All these things are hand wringing. They're wasting time, wasting energy. The opposite of hand wringing is movement, is action, is energy. And now energy can consume you in one of two ways, positive or negative. What do we choose? And see, when we look back on the business owner that was choosing small steps of action, the first step that they were choosing was their circle. Who are they surrounding themselves with? Who around them provides the energy they need to get through the moment that they're going through? How many people do you know that only go to people that they want to hear the answer they want to hear from all the time. So I know this person is going to tell me what I want to hear, so I only go to them. I have friends and family that I've known my whole life that when they want to know something that they already know, they go to the person that's going to tell them exactly what they already know. Instead of somebody that might tell them the opposite mindset or might help them think a little differently or might provide that energy or shot in the arm or adrenaline that they need to actually move past what they already know. So the circle is the most important start, right? Because what it does is it helps us think in a way that maybe we can't get to yet. Sometimes we're not even able to function yet out of our own brain. So we get our family, our friends, our circle. And if that circle's negative, then we stay pushed down. We stay in that negative space. The energy we put out into the world is the energy that we get. And if, if we're kind of in a tough spot, we can only be in that tough spot for so long before the positive energy circle start pushing us away. You don't stay in my circle very long if all you do is complain. I don't even want to talk to you very long. 
I've got your back if it's a problem or a challenge or something that we can do together. But when it becomes a, a circle that's now pulling me down, I can't stay there that long. And that means that when the positive circle you've surrounded yourself in a moment of weakness or hand-wringing or worry, you call the person that's going to help lift you up. That's number one. Number two is you have to reset the frequency in your brain. Reset the frequency in your brain. Frequency is a lot like energy, except frequency is what we're tuned in to. What are you listening to? What are you listening to when nothing else is happening? What is the music like in your life? What's the soundtrack of your life? Do you find yourself listening to nothing but negative stuff all the time? Do you wake up every morning and tune into the news to see who died on the street corner or around the street from you? Or are you looking for that same newscast and finding who gave gifts to people at the holidays? What are you tuned into? Because you can tune into all those different things but there's a lot more negative frequency out in the world than there is positive if that's all you're seeing. See, the key is, the truth is, it's actually the opposite. There's way more positive energy around you, but most people stay in this small 10% space where 90% of everything around them is going perfect. So the, the frequency is retuning our brain to actually being aware of opportunities. So in order to to be surrounded by the right people and tune into the right frequency, it also starts to position ourselves where we're seeing the world a little bit differently. We're starting to see the positive. We're starting to see the good things. You walk past somebody that looks like they're struggling, but you notice the smile on their face. You sit in a space in, in the supermarket, waiting in the line in front of you, and you notice the person in front of you doesn't have enough, and you're able to take action to help them. See, you have to be tuned into these frequencies to start to give. And that's, that's the next most important thing to me, is what are you giving the world? If you want something in the world, from the world, you got to start giving it. What are you giving the world? Hey, how come I never get a break? How come nothing in my, my life ever goes right? Who's helping me? Who are you helping? Who are we helping? How can we be tuned into the frequency of helping somebody, of giving something of ourselves that can actually get out of the world what we need? If you have something that you want, start giving it. Do you want to have better friends? Be a better friend. Do you want to be a better spouse? Give more to the person of what you need. Start giving of yourself in ways that you want to receive. And you know what? If I'm ever sitting at the, at the supermarket short, I sure hope that I've given enough to the person in front of me in my life that someday it will come back. And I believe it will. I think you need to believe that it will. Because the truth is... That's that scarcity mindset coming in instead of the mindset of abundance, right? The more we think there's only so much to go around, the less we do with it. The more negative space we stay in. When we actually believe, man, I'm going to give this to this person and maybe I don't have tons to give, but at this point in time in their life, they need it more. I have never seen it not come back tenfold. See, what you want in the world and you want to see the world in a certain space is all about giving to it what you want. So, so now we've, we've, we've given, we've tuned, retuned our frequency, we've reshuffled our circle. Now, how do we get to the choice? The choice is all about you. What are the things that you need? How are you focused on the very things that are holding you back? Only you know your blind spots. Nobody else knows those blind spots better than you. And, and I always use this analogy, but I love it. My boys play soccer, and I don't tell them to spend all their time working on their off foot. See, they both have different strong dominant feet. One's a right-footed kid, one's a left-footed kid. For some reason, the, right, the, the right-footed child is usually the one that struggles the most with, with the left. The left can usually be a little bit easier with both feet. This is something that, that kind of comes with being a little bit creative and having the left hand, left foot mentality. But if the child that has the right foot dominance only focuses on the blind spot of being left footed, they actually miss all the strengths that they have already. 
See, we have to use those strengths to help overcome those blind spots. We have to be mindful of those blind spots, self-aware of those blind spots, focusing on making them better every day, but not providing the most energy that we have to only blind spots. And that can be something that becomes negative. If all I do is focus on kicking with my left foot and I'm not that great at it, all I do is notice all the things I'm not great at every day. It starts with me. Now it's you making the choice every single day that you've tuned in the right frequency, you've circled up with the right people, you're getting that positive energy, and, and you're giving to the world what you want. Now you're focused on choosing. Now you have that split second every single time something happens to you where you get to decide, is this the time for me to be positive or negative? Is this bad or is it good? Does it feel bad? Am I gonna choose to make it feel bad? Somebody says something at a family function over the holidays and you choose how you receive that. When they make a comment about your outfit and you're extremely proud about that outfit because you worked really hard and you love it and you feel strong and you feel great and someone says something, how can they take that away from you? They just can't. You choose how you receive that. They noticed, that's what I would choose to actually recognize. Wow, they noticed, they noticed I have a powerful outfit on something I really like. You know, we can reframe anything. The human brain is so powerful, it can reframe anything. And people that see the world that way are a part of the world that you might not be seeing right now if you're stuck in that negative loop. Because once you get in the negative loop and you're going backwards all the time, you're missing all those things that you need to see, all those things that actually take you to the next level. I was at, a, at one of our businesses a couple of weeks ago and we had been talking about a parking lot and how if we only had this entire usage of this parking lot, this would work out and it would be something that would help solve a problem we were working with. And all of a sudden an introduction happens and I meet the neighbors next door and the neighbors next door let me know that they might be selling the property that they have. And then we start talking about it. Before the end of the conversation, they were putting together a proposal to potentially have us buy the property next door to the other property where there was a parking problem. This was all about energy. When we walked into the, to the other property and we talked together with one of my employees, I said, I don't even know how some of this stuff happens. I mean, this is just so perfect. And it's so exactly what we're talking about right here. It's putting it out into the world, making sure you ask for what you want, making sure you're telling people what you want out of the world, that you're sharing your goals, you're actually making it something known. And when you do, and you've been giving, and you're tuned in the right frequency, and your circle is good and positive, everything just starts to click. It just starts to click. And I think you have a choice of how you see the world. You have a choice every day when you get up, whether it's gonna be a good day or a bad day, whether it's gonna be a good feeling or a bad feeling. Now, let me tell you this. I know not everybody has, has the choice in everything. Health is sometimes we, something we can't choose. Family challenges are sometimes that we, we were born into, okay? There's a lot of things that are what they are, but the sooner you accept them for what they are, the sooner you can start to see them for what they can be in your life in a positive way. And that's the key, that's the shift, that's the mental change to see the world in a much better way. You choose. If you find yourself feeling a bit of overwhelm or maybe you're in this gap and you can't get out of that negative loop, go to scottdanner.com and check out our resources page where we have our four quadrants. That's what I use. The tool that I actually give as an example is what I use every time I find myself in an overwhelmed position, and we all feel that way. I put together a video explaining exactly what the four quadrants are and how you can use them, and if you watch that next, I think it'll help you out.